I have a bad habit of dropping electronic devices in water or bodies of water, which is why I thought this was appropriate and dangerous and risky. Yeah, risky. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Ever since the enactment of the Constitution Act in 1867, also known as the British North America Act, the former British colonialists, which we would later refer to as Canadians, would celebrate Canada Day. Whoops, wait, minor detail I should point out is that it wasn't officially called Canada Day until 1982. It's nice to see the sheep will get all uh, together and actually learn how to have a good time for fucking one. But not without a checkpoint. It's called Dominion Day. Yes, lead that. Focus is working. It's supposed to home in our faces and shit. We'll see. So, how does one celebrate the birthday of the country they live in? We just split on Janelle and Rick. We're uh, going for a beer. A break from the herd. Canada Day, like the country, is endlessly decentralized. There doesn't seem to be a central recipe for how to celebrate it. Chalk it up to the nature of the Federation. Says Jennifer Welsh, Professor of International Relations at University of Oxford. Well, suffice it to say, I celebrate it the same way I celebrate every damn day on this hunk of floating space debris. They celebrate the annual event by ending all rental leases and many people move to a new place. They call it moving day. But that's, you know, different strokes for different folks, I suppose. So, as I was wandering around, with clear direction, obviously, because I knew where the pub was, I uh, came across a nice little funk performance and got into a little bit of a funk myself an operator error or as I like to call them in the age of computers I like to call it an ID10T error if you don't know what an ID10T error is write it down and look at it that's what it is anyway uh, moving forward I uh, realized that uh, my little camera direct sunlight and being farsighted um well, I could not seem to trap focus to save my life, which is, well, cause for concern because I guess I do need glasses or a bigger monitor with a shade hood or some kind of shit. Anyway, um, enjoyed the tunes and it was kind of cool. 
Uh, these performers did look a little attention starved as uh, there was a lot of cameras around and they seemed to want to get my attention and I kind of just brushed them off and continued searching for beer. So, how is it that we celebrate Canada Day elsewhere in the world? Apparently, since 2006, we have celebrated Canada's birthday in Trafalgar Square. That's in London, England. This is the place where dreams are made of. Look on yonder, O'Flanagan's. Might not be in focus, but oh well. England. Yes, at a place called Canada House. And since 2013, we have Canada Day celebrations in Central Park in New York City. And by 2017, they, whomever Wikipedia refers to as they, are planning to expand to more cities like Mumbai, Paris, Rio de Janeiro. They even celebrate Canada Day in China at Bund Beach, thanks to the Canadian Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai. Thanks, guys. So. We partied up in Hong Kong on June 30th, and since the 1950s, the border-sharing cities of Detroit and Windsor share the festivities of Independence Day and Dominion Day, respectively, except to say that it became Canada Day in 1982. Fort Erie, Ontario, and Buffalo, New York have similar mashup celebrations, as do towns and villages throughout Maine, New Brunswick, and Quebec. So what does this all mean? Well, I don't know what it means. Means that there's a lot of politics in the background uh, that confuse and obfuscate what Canada Day really is. But I think in the hearts and minds of Joe Public, I don't think they care about any of that shit. Uh, they're a proud Canadian. They're, they're they're proud of what they think they represent. I think that's what's important. If I, uh, you know. I don't think every single person walking by is a historian, so I don't think they necessarily see all of the intricate details. And why should they give a shit, really, at the end of the day? That's our job. Yeah, it's our job to teach. It's our job to show people a different path. Um, but on the other hand, it's also not our job to tell people how to have a good time and for what reasons. Um, I have to say, I was relatively delighted for some weird reason. I don't know what it was, but it spurred me to make this video. And uh, if you're looking for fireworks at the end of this video, because I mentioned some bona fide fireworks, well, guess what? Google them. I'm sick to death of fireworks. Can't stand them. They kind of represent most of my relationships. Bright, flashy, and most of the time disappointing. Anyway, guys, Google fireworks and look at the images. That's pretty much what you saw at the fireworks uh, all over the country. So, yeah. Uh, happy Canadian Day. Happy America Day. And America Canada lives on. Peace from the United Provinces of Canada. Happy birthday.
Check this shit out. Smiling with white 
rising sun. We need a bus, but mama don't stay. Singing sweet song, a melody if you want to sing it. This is the message to you. Everybody sing along. Singing no worries. It's Canada Day in Kelowna, British Columbia. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like there's a lot of people having a good time here. I'm cool with that. No reason to not be cool with that. Yeah, sure. Amidst all the, you know, clever marketing and guerrilla, guerrilla marketing, really. But in the midst of all of that bullshit and globalization, looting, everything, in the midst of all of this, this is what Canadians like when they have fun. Video. But guys, you know, regardless of form or function and how or why or who it makes me happy to see happy people for whatever reason it makes them happy they're proud to be Canadians don't forget we are Canadians and I'm not one for borders and such but it's a damn cool thing to be Canadian we could be in a lot worse shoes and that means that we have to think about all of our brothers and sisters in other places are enjoying a yearly spectacle like this. Believe me, most of these people shouldn't even be out of their house. <laughs> I don't even think they can handle doing it on a 24 hour, 7 day a week basis. But it's either here or, or, or there, it's not for me to decide. This is, these are the humans. The silly humans, the ones that we were trying to save. And, uh, I'm out of loading. A, a boat dock right now. Like, I thought this would be a great place to close out the documentary. Um, I'm gonna have to catch up with Rick and, and and Janelle. They're over at the beach. I went on a little thing of my own. I had to go get myself pissed up. You know, that's my mo, and that's how I roll. Speaking of which, I think one thing I am gonna do. Hopefully, nobody notices. I'm going to have to have a, a quick one here. Ah, looks like I'm not the only one with that idea of mine. But anyway, guys, this is uh, Robert J. Morris for Saving the Silly Humans. This is the Canada Day edition. And uh, peace out. Take care of yourselves, and for fuck's sakes, take care of each other. This is Kelowna, bitches. This is where the truth ball starts. The truth third ball. Anyway, peace.